from the upcoming action film Bullet to the Head, Sylvester Stallone, and soon to be seen in The Last Stand, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's an honor for us to present the award for best foreign film. Weil English für uns eine Fremdsprache ist. The hell does that mean? That means because English is for both of us a foreign language. <laughs> You're right about that, big fella. Okay, anyway, the uh, nominees, you said, I can't be as bad as you, really. Trust Seriously. me. Trust me. Trust no, I'm me. Serious. You're horrible. No, you're worse no, than I'm me. Serious. You've been here how long? It's embarrassing, really. Why did you read that? Okay, forget about yeah. it. Here are the nominees for best foreign film Amour, Austria. A Royal Affair, Denmark. The Untouchables, France. Kontiki, Norway, UK, Denmark. Have faith. This is bigger than us. Rust and Bone, France. And the Golden Globe goes to. Amour, Austria. Accepting the Golden Globe for Amour is director Michael Hanukkah. I never saw, uh, sought to get uh, an award in Hollywood by an Austrian. So, <laughs> so thank you very much, uh, the foreign language press. Uh, I have to thank uh, all the people that helped me to do this film. So I start with Michael Parker and his crew. You did a great promotion job. Uh, I thank my uh, uh, producers, Margaret Menegos, Stefan Arndt, Veit Heiderschka and Mike, Michael Katz, and of course my crew. There are too much people to have to name everybody. Uh, you, did, uh, you did the film. The, all the parts, the second parts. And bef above all, I have to thank um, my, main, my both main actors, Jean-Louis Trintignant and Emmanuel Riva. I think without them, I would not be here. And if this prize is in my hands, I think the base, it's maybe for me and the crew, but the Golden Globe, it's for these both fantastic actors. Thank you very much. The star of Castle, Nathan Fillion, and two-time Golden Globe nominee, Leo Michel. There were many outstanding performances by women in uh, leading roles in television this year. But only five have been chosen. Here are the nominees for Best Actress in a TV Series Drama. Connie Britton, Nashville. Glenn Close, Damages. Claire Danes, Homeland. Michelle Dockery, Downton Abbey, Season 2. Juliana Margulies, The Good Wife. And the Golden Globe goes to... Claire Danes, Homeland. This is the fourth win and fourth nomination for Claire Danes. She previously won for the HBO movie Temple Grandin and for the TV series My So-Called Life. Thank you. Um, well, I have to thank the Hollywood Foreign Pl Press for being so insanely generous towards me um, for so many years now. Uh, I was up here when I was 15. Um, this is amazing. Um, I want to thank the other women in, in this category who, who are so, so badass, uh, so brilliant, and have all in their own way contributed to making television this 
wonderfully rich place for, for really dynamic, complex, bold female characters. I'm very proud to be working in this medium, in this moment, in this company. Um, I want to thank our writers who, uh, who didn't buckle under the pressure of the success of the first season and continued to challenge themselves and by extension us as actors and you make such brave choices so relentlessly and uh, we're all better for it. I, I want to thank my cast who are really at this point my extended family. I really love you. <laughs> uh, and speaking of family, uh, I, I admitted to everyone on our show early on in the season that I was with child, that Carrie was in fact carrying. And, um, uh, you know, they were all so, so supportive, everyone from, from our benevolent bosses at, at Fox and Showtime to Katina, the costume designer who took my pants out every damn week. Um, and I have to thank, uh, you know, our son now, uh, you and my son, Cyrus, who's upstairs with my parents um, right now for, for joining me throughout the whole process and being so game and, and, and fighting this war against terrorism. So thank you. Thank you. From Les Miserables. Sasha Vera Cohen. Good evening, fellow actors. What a bloody marvelous year it's been for motion pictures. Let's all clap ourselves. Come on. Not you, Daniel Day Lewis. Anyone can grow a bloody beard. Now, in one of the many films in which I starred this year, Les Miserables, my junior cast members went to quite extraordinary lengths to secure their nominations. The wonderful Hugh Jackson, over there, <laughs> lost 30 pounds, which for my friend Gerard Depardieu would just be a visit to the toilet. <laughs> Russell Crowe had four months of singing lessons, that was money well spent. <laughs> and Helena Bonham Carter gave the head of the academy a personal massage, which I'm led to believe had a much happier ending than the movie. <laughs> anyway, enough of me pulling back the curtains of Hollywood, and I'm not referring to Anne Hathaway's upskirt shot. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Feature Film. Brave. Frank and Weenie. Hotel Transylvania. Rise of the Guardians. Wreck-It Ralph. And the Golden Globe goes to... Brave. Accepting the Golden Globe for Brave is director Mark Andrews. Holy cow! This, uh, thanks, Table. Uh, what incredible company to be in, all the animated films this year. Uh, 2012 was an amazing year for animation, so I'd like to thank all the fellow nominees. Fantastic films, everybody. Tim, holy cow, been watching your movies forever, ever. Um, I'd like to thank um, Brenda Chapman for coming up with this amazing story. Uh, John Lasseter, Ed Catmull, Jim Morris, Andrew Stanton, Pete Doctor, my bosses, uh, colleagues, peers, and friends gave me all the support. Um, my incredible producer, Catherine Zarafian, uh, Bob Iger, and everybody at Disney for being brave to do this film with this amazing heroine at the center of the film. And of course, uh, my family, 
uh, my wife, Patricia, my children, uh, Maeve, Jack, Payton, Ford, yes, four of them. And, and being brave is about being true to yourself and allowing your loved ones uh, that same freedom. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, star of the new series, Ray Donovan, Liam Schreiber. A young man survives a disaster at sea and sets sail on a magical journey of adventure and discovery. Adrift on a lifeboat, his fellow castaways include an orangutan, a zebra, a hyena, and a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. A story many said was unfilmable has been turned into a cinematic masterpiece by Ang Lee. This is The Life of Pi. My name is Pai Patel. I have been in a shipwreck. I am on a lifeboat alone with a tiger. Please send help. Please welcome the star of Identity Thief, Jason Bateman, and from Parks and Recreation, Aziz Ansari. Wow, uh, the cast of Downton Abbey really has some amazing weed backstage. I can't even walk properly. Thank you for carrying me, Jason. Yeah, nominees for Best Actress in a TV Comedy or Music, pull it together. Get it together. Tremendously talented and graceful, they possess the rare ability to make us laugh and to touch us. Michelle Dockery, please tell me you possess more of those tasty cookies or biscuits, as you call them. <laughs> <laughs> they call cookies biscuits. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to knock you out. Here uh, we go. Can I just say real quick, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, you are my hero as an actor. I just saw Expendables 2, and you were fantastic. It's not him. You as well, Jennifer it's Lawrence. Him. It's not him. You should try booze instead. The, I can't feel my ears. The nominees are... Zoe Deschanel, New Girl. Uh, uh, Julie Louis-Dreyfus, Veep. Lisa Dunham, girls. That's Lena. An M. Tina Fey, 30 Rock. Amy Poehler, Parks and Recreation. Good night, Chip. Good night, Chip. Is it good? Golden Globe goes to Lena Dunham, girls. This is Lena Denham's first Golden Globe nomination and first win for her role in Girls. She previously wrote, directed, and starred in the critically acclaimed indie, Tiny Furniture. I thought that I was gonna be a cooler customer if this ever happened, which I didn't think it would. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I just wanted to start, sorry, I'm super shaky. I wanted to start by saying that the other nominees in this category are women that inspire me deeply and have made me laugh and comforted me at the darkest moments of my life. Julia, Tina, Amy, and Zoe have respectively gotten me through middle school, mono, a ruptured eardrum, and the acute floating anxiety that populates my entire life 
and I worship them. Uh, I'd like to thank HBO. I can't believe what a wonderful place it is to work. Mike Lombardo, Sue Nagel, Richard Plepler, Casey Bloys, Kathleen McCaffrey, United Talent Agency, Peter Benedict, Danny Mariasis, Larry Salt. Uh, Jenny Connor is my best friend and the woman that I aspire to be. Jed Apatow is the greatest man and the greatest honorary girl. Eileen Landris, you keep us all on lock. The cast, Allison, Jemima, Zasha, and I really want to say a special thank you to Adam Driver, who basically made me feel not like a cartoon character, but like a person who could express emotions. And I don't think you know how meaningful it's been to work with you. I want to say thank you to my family, Lori, Tip, Grace, now Jack. Thank you to the Hollywood Foreign Press for this incredible honor. This award is for every woman who's ever felt like there wasn't a space for her. Um, this show's made a space for me. Thank you so much. The celebration continues as Golden Globe winner Robert Downey Jr. presents the DeMille Award to Jodie Foster next. Well, the show is really taking a turn. Yes. Time to start drinking. Everybody's getting a little loose now that we're all losers. Yeah. Congratulations, Lena. I'm glad we got you through middle school. <laughs> middle school? It's getting sloppy in here, everybody. Look at <laughs> look how drunk Glenn Close is. Oh, boy. <laughs> Actually, she might need a medic. She might need a medic. I'm going to dance with you later. You know what, Taylor Swift? You stay away from Michael J. Fox's son. Or go for it. Or go for it. No, you, she needs some me time to learn about herself. Okay. Our next presenter is an actor so versatile that he played Iron Man in three different movies. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. Uh, um, Ms. Foster, please know how much I love and respect you regardless of what may transpire in the next several minutes. <laughs> The Cecil B. DeMille Award says every bit as much about the presenter as it does the recipient. <laughs> and that's why I'm here for Jody. As I reflected on her formative years, I was surprised and delighted at certain of the similarities. Although I didn't speak French fluently or attend an Ivy League university nor have 50 credits before I was 21, unless you're talking pinball, <laughs> it was exposed during an exhaustive effort by my team of researchers over their Christmas vacation while I was partying on Geffen's boat off Anguilla <laughs> that she and I, in fact, shared the same four life ambitions. In 1974, during a probing interview with LA Magazine, she stated, and I quote, A, I want to be President of the United States. B, I want to go on stage. C, I want to go to Rome. And D, I want to get a hamster. <laughs> Sadly, my dreams of the presidency were dashed when I caught a felony disrobing at a Commedia dell'arte show at the Vatican. I finally got my hamster. His name is Bubbles. <laughs> Mel's got one too. Her name is Bipsy. We put them together and tonight we'd like to give you pick of the litter. <laughs> In an exemplary career spanning five decades, she has gone from being one of the youngest people to win an Oscar to one of our most admired directors. She has received 44 awards, including two Golden Globes, two Oscars, three BAFTAs, the American Cinematheque, an independent spirit, and one from the National Board of Review. But perhaps her greatest achievement is in her philanthropy, best encapsulated by her donation to the Motion Picture Television Fund in 2011 
of the Jodie Foster Aquatic Pavilion. <laughs> now, Jodie, sit back, relax. Feel free to brainstorm on the right thank you gift for me <laughs> as we watch your exceptional life in cinema flash before our eyes. Be the hero of your own life story. D don't throw that line at me. I wrote that line. Girls should live at home. Didn't you ever hear of women's lib? Gonna nag them, tag them, drag them down to the floor. Gonna rub them, drop them, tell them back them more. The girls like you. Whole string, what a prize. All right, why don't you give it a little tug? I know you've got to be lucky. Ah! I'm in the game. Could you do it again? I hope not. It's enough, all of you! Fear belonged to other people, and then it touched me. Let's face it, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Everybody needs a friend, and you've got me. Walter Black is resigning and putting me in charge. Get to the house, everyone, before we're in the evening news. Who wants a leg? You spend more time putting yourself up than there is time in the day. Listen, honey, if I didn't look this good, you wouldn't give me the time of day. I'm some low-class bimbo, right? Will those bastards go to jail? I heard a strange noise. What was it? It was... screaming. You gonna miss me? See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Jody Foster. fans, I'm 50, I'm 50, you know, I need to do that without this dress on, but you know, maybe later at Trader Vic's, boys and girls, what do you say, I'm 50, um, you know, I was going to bring my walker tonight, but it just, it didn't, it just didn't go with cleavage, Robert, I want to thank you for everything, for your bat craze, rapid fire brain, the sweet intro, I love you and Susan, and I am so grateful that you continually talk me off the ledge when I go on and foam at the mouth and say, I'm done with acting, I'm done with acting, I'm really done, I'm done, I'm done. Trust me, 47 years in the film business is a long time. You just ask those Golden Globies, because you crazy kids, you've been around here forever. You know, Phil, you're a nut. Aida, Scott, thank you for honoring me tonight. And it is the most fun party of the year. And tonight, I feel like the prom queen. Thank you. Looking at all those clips, you know, the hairdos and the freaky platform shoes, it's like a home movie nightmare that just won't end. And all of these people sitting here at these table, they're my family of sorts, you know, fathers mostly, uh, executives, producers, the directors, um, my fellow actors out there. We, we've giggled through love scenes, we've punched and cried and spit and vomited and blown snot all over one another, and those are just the co-stars I liked. Um, but, you know, more than anyone else, I share my most special memories with the members of the crew. Uh, blood-shaking friendships, brothers and sisters. We made movies together, and you can't get more intimate than that. So while I'm here being all uh, confessional and uh, 
I guess I just have a sudden urge to say something that um, I've never really been able to air in public, so uh, declaration that I'm a little nervous about, but maybe not quite as nervous as my publicist right now, huh, Jennifer? Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to put it out there, right? Loud and proud, right? So um, I'm going to need your support on this. I am uh, single. <laughs> yes, I am. I am single. No, I'm kidding. But, I mean, I'm not really kidding, but I'm kind of